you follow the contour of the land downhill to the east, down the slope of Mount Tom, down the incline of the sedimentary layers, you eventually get to the Connecticut River where the Dinosaur Footprints Reservation is located. Those footprints are located in the mudstone of the Portland Formation, which is stratigraphically above and therefore geologically younger than the Holyoke Basalt. I'm standing on an outcrop of the Portland Formation at the Dinosaur Footprints Reservation in Holyoke, Massachusetts. You can see a wonderful trackway of a large dinosaur stepping one foot after another along this path, which was revealed when the area was quarried many years ago in the 19th century. The dinosaur footprints appear to be going uphill, but the dinosaur was not walking uphill. We know that the dinosaur was walking on flat ground because we can see ripple marks, the kind of impressions that you find near the shore of a, a lake or the ocean. This was a lake and the dinosaur was walking along the shore. The footprints are flat, they're not toes in like it would be if you were walking uphill in the mud. The inclination of these rocks happened long after the footprints were formed and buried by additional layers of sediment. The tilting happened because of the faulting, the faulting that formed the Rift Valley, the faulting that made this place our Connecticut Valley. 